the longest time, Sama Zawit was a typical Lebanese engineering student at Concordia University. But Zawit never imagines himself in the field everybody knows him for. He sees himself as a fashion designer with his own fashion line, walking down his own runway. When I'm in engineering class, I start daydreaming about a lot of stuff in my life, about my fantasies, about what I want to do, about why I want things to happen to me. So that's when I start putting my design on a paper. So if you don't see it, At it's first, like Zawit kept his talent hidden for fear of his community's judgment. Uh, but with time, he felt safe sharing his secret with his friends, whose reaction was genuine. I feel like he should just show it to the world. You know, he has something so um, beautiful that no one, uh, not everyone has. But Zawit says he doesn't want to base his entire future on fashion. He wants to concentrate on a degree for a solid income, but will be happy if anything in fashion comes his way. I'm hoping like there's, there will be some turn, some switch in my life after I finish my degree and get me back to fashion. Talking about his passion was all it took Osama to gain a unique opportunity. It was here on the 10th floor of Concordia University's engineering building that a professor stumbled upon his drawings and gave him hope for the future. This professor runs a lab developing interactive textile and wearable computers and is always looking for students like Zawit. She also mentions other international companies who need multidisciplinary workers. There they have a team of like hundreds of people developing ideas for the future that involve dresses and that involve consumer electronics in garments. From a closeted fashion enthusiast, Zawit came a long way. With this new opportunity, it's now possible for Zawit to mix fashion with engineering to live off the new methods of fashioneering. For Concordia News, I'm Darina Watt.